tell you about my dogs. How much time do you have? Yeah, what I love about the film is it's it's about three Chinese kids. It's, it's about a, a young Chinese woman kind of dealing with grief and finding herself and finding her relationship with mm -hmm. other people and with her family. And it totally takes place in China. It shows off how beautiful China is, but it's also not about that at all. There's so much of the Chinese culture is featured, but it's not like the movie's called Young Chinese Girl Goes Across China. It's called <laughs> Abominable. It's, called, it's about, it normalizes a culture that for me is normal in a way that I think is important for the industry to move forward, that it's not, it's featured, but it's it's so much more about that. Like being Asian in industry isn't a, isn't a trend, um, which I feel like it can tend to be, whereas this one is just a really authentic story and happens to take place in this beautiful country and we're seeing a different version of China. It's, you know, we're seeing all these amazing like, Usually you think of cityscapes, which is portrayed so well, but it's also so much of, of other parts that we don't really get to see. So I love that it's so much about that, but then also not at all. It's also a story about kind of coming into your own as a young woman and as, as young kids and um, discovering family, so. Tell you about my dogs. How much time do you have? I can show you <laughs> thousands of pictures. My dogs are a hybrid of, of of Everest, kind of, because I have a French Bulldog, and then they're just very, I also grew up with Tibetan Mastiffs. So, really? yeah, so wow. I grew up with a, a Tibetan Mastiff and then Bull Mastiffs, and Kitty, our Tibetan Mastiff, <laughs> was 200 pounds, wow. <laughs> and she was huge, and I used to, like, you know, ride her <laughs> Like, we would, like, saddle her. I would, I'm gonna probably get in trouble for that, but I was very small. <laughs> Um, but it, there's a lot of sequences in, in the movie where I'm like, ah, like <laughs> flying all over Shanghai on Everest. And so, you know, had a real life, yeah, went meta. Yeah.